excellent. It's great. It's a converging of students and professionals into a big cornucopia of awesome talent and wonderful artistry. It's amazing. I learned so much from other artists in here. And uh, yeah, I love it. So whenever I'm here, I just absorb whatever I can. Whether it's speaking to one artist in particular or going to their presentations, it's just a completely different atmosphere than anything that I have back in the Bahamas. So I just take advantage of everything that I see. It's, it's not one of those things you can just, like you can learn about it in the classroom, I guess, but you know, right here, right now, they just, it's like a shortcut. It feels like a shortcut to victory. I think actually watching the artists as they paint um, their drawings was actually my favorite part because I got to see kind of step by step what they were doing with the with the picture. So I was picking up like tricks and tips. This yeah. is this is amazing. Everyone's just having like an art jam and yeah. and keep uh, going like this, and we'll be happy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm coming next year for sure. Just Absolutely. The caliber of artists that are coming is just it's, it's amazing. You know, yeah. these are guys I idol yeah. and idolize. The guys from uh, uh, Future Poly were doing this segment on environment art and just the, the process was really cool. Things like um, knowing what's really important and well, realistically what to do to get into the industry. I think that really, really sets what's important to us. They basically showed how you can take an a basic model of the environment and use map paintings to create a nice concept. Um, also taking a concept into a simple or a complex environment very fast and efficiently. That was very nice to find out as a student because I've never been taught that before. Um, it's definitely going to improve my future in environment modeling and how I prototype and make new environments. Every student wants, wants to be a concept artist. Not everyone, everyone can be. 3D modeling is awesome. Why not, Why not start, start there? there? <laughs> Some of my favorite part would have been the um, the talk by Blizzard. You know, the people at Blizzard, Shin. Uh, you know, looking at the complexity and the level of detail that they placed in to the character Kerrigan. Um, you know, breaking down things like um, the different sections of the bodies and you know the things that they face switching from you know Max to Maya to to actually be able to render a character that sophisticated. Um, you know, it was, it was really amazing work, and seeing the final product, you you know, you get a better appreciation of everything that goes in to actually make that happen. I watched the keynote speaker, uh, uh, Sin Wang and Stephen Chan from Blizzard. It blew me away, it's so amazing. And 
it's inspiration. I think it, it fuels all of the like students that are eventually going to have my job someday. <laughs> uh, it fuels all of our, you know, creativity and and just what we love doing: painting lasers and robots and ninjas, and modeling them in three dimensions and making them move and turning them into video games. And I think like. People sharing their techniques so we can learn from each other, trying to improve ourselves as an artist, learning new techniques, new tools. I think that's really important. That's how